Did he set out to terrorize the South? Yes, he did. When I read about him as a young person, I was tremendously fascinated by the uh, kind of fiery complexity of Brown and, uh, and in the way that he uh, faced the racial contradictions of this country head on 150 years ago. He, he had worked on the Underground Railroad much of his life and his vision of liberating slaves in the South was essentially a vision of the Underground Railroad writ large. Many years later, I wrote a book, A National History of the Underground Railroad, called Bound for Canaan, and I dealt at length in that with Brown. Well, John Brown had been thinking about uh, raiding Harper's Ferry for a long time. It uh, was an armory with a huge stock of weapons, and Brown hoped, having captured the weapons, to dis distribute them to um, enslaved people who would join his cause, go off with him into the uh, Alleghenies and Appalachian Mountains and uh, established colonies of freedmen and an underground railroad pathway from the Deep South to the North. In the dead of night, he and a small band of men, 19 of them at that moment, uh, crossed from Maryland, crossed the Potomac into Harper's Ferry. They seized the Federal Armory there. Uh, men were sent out into the surrounding countryside in an effort to uh, raise a rebellion by enslaved people. Uh, they didn't succeed in that. Very, very few slaves, very few participated. Uh, Brown was quickly trapped uh, in the fire engine house uh, near the Federal Armory in Harper's Ferry. It, there was, in the course of the day, a bitter fight, mostly sniping back and forth while hundreds and hundreds of militiamen cut off Brown and his men's only avenues of escape. Brown and his men were holed up in a single room, very congested, crowded with the fire engines, pumping wagons, uh, a number of hostages, his own men wounded, dying. He and his men uh, became willing to martyr themselves. Uh, Marines broke through the door to the engine house. Uh, there was a melee inside. Brown's men were killed. Those who were captured uh, were hanged later on, including Brown. Immediately after his death, he was heroized, uh, uh, sanctified, really, by Northern abolitionists. He terrified white Southerners. Uh, if one abolitionist could come south with this in mind and put guns in, in the hands of enslaved people, others could. And uh, the South, of course, was already moving towards accepting secession. It moved a lot faster after John Brown's raid. He wanted to terrorize the South. That was one of his main objectives. It succeeded. In following decades after the war, John Brown's star sank to its lowest. He was often uh, written off as a madman, uh, even a psychopath, a lunatic. Yes, he was a zealot, uh, but he was also a man far ahead of his time in a vision of racial fairness and equitability. John Brown was 150 years ahead of most of us, and he was by no means the kind of blind, fanatic, much less lunatic that he was uh, said to be.